Hello guys, um, we're going to be talking about the Norma Dumont and Aspen Lad fight. That fight is going to be happening... <sighs> that fight's going to be happening uh, tonight, not tonight, but tomorrow night. And it's pretty cool, you know, I'm interested for that fight. I think that, who do I think wins the fight? Well, before we get to who I think wins the fight, let's break down both styles and how they mesh together. Let me take this charger out. So let's break down both styles and let's see how they mesh together. So Aspen Lad is a striker primarily. She's not a grappler. And Norma Dumont is a grappler with some striking. I mean, I've seen Aspen Lad's fights. Uh, I watched, I mean, most of her fights end in finishes. So she has very heavy hands. Norma Dumont, not really. She, she doesn't have the best of hands. So in the striking game, I would give Aspen Lad the advantage. And, and if you look at Norma Dumont, her striking isn't as good. Now, her grappling is definitely a lot better than Aspen's grappling. So, when you consider that, she's going to try and take her down and Aspen's going to try and keep it on the feet. Yeah. But it's not it's not as simple as a grappler versus striker. This is not like Mackenzie Dern versus Marina Rodriguez. It's not. Because... Norma Dumont can also fight on the feet too. She's shown that versus Felicia Spencer. But she got knocked but Norma Dumont got knocked out by Megan Anderson and Felicia Spencer submitted Megan Anderson. You know, Norma Dumont definitely has some ground game. <sighs> Her grappling is pretty good. I'm not too sure about the striking aspect, so she may get knocked out in the first round, and if she doesn't get knocked out in the first round. This fight is five rounds. Um, I think I would give the edge to Norma Dumont because the fight is five rounds. Aspen Lad, you know, she's been having problems with her weight cut. And, you know, her weight cut probably weared on her a little bit. And she hasn't fought in a while. She's kind of rusty. So my the advantage would definitely be given to Norma Dumont, in my opinion, because, because of that. Because of those reasons that I just outlined. Now, who do I think wins the fight? Yeah, Norma Dumont wins the fight, in my opinion, because of the style. She's able to take her down and keep her down. And even try and work some submissions or ground and pound. She can have some success. But it's a dangerous fight for both, for both fighters. You know, both fighters can knock each other out. Both fighters can submit each other. But I feel like... Norma Dumont is more dangerous to Aspen than Aspen is to Norma Dumont. You know, when you have a weight cut of that magnitude and you are about to fucking... Fucking... She was looking like she was going to collapse at the weigh-ins. But she's going to be fighting at 145 featherweight. So I don't think the weight cut is going to be a big issue for her. Considering the fact that she's fought at... She's had trouble making 135, so I think the problem isn't going to be... Well, her gas tank might also be a problem because she doesn't really fight five rounds that often. She's fought three rounds most of the time. When's the last time she fought five rounds? It's been ages, right? And it's kind of strange that Aspen Ladd is being rewarded with a main event fight at featherweight and she missed weight at 135. But I get Dana's 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 point because she didn't make weight at 135. So that would be uh giving her a you're rewarding her for missing weight. That would be bad. But she's fighting at 145 and she's gonna make weight at 145. If she doesn't make weight and the fight's off, I think she she needs to be released. And if she loses this fight, she might get released because then she has to go back down to 135. And 135 is a big problem for her. She can't make that weight. It's, it's, it's almost impossible for her to make that weight. She's failed four times in a row. How many more times are you going to allow her to miss weight? It's not. It's not okay, man. 
you're constantly missing weight and there's millions of other girls that want this opportunity that Aspen has has right now millions of other people millions of other girls that want exactly what Aspen has and Aspen's not taking advantage of it she's missing weight she's being unprofessional she's blaming uh, Macy Chioson for not taking the fight but Macy Macy made weight Aspen didn't so Macy was within her right to 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 turn down the fight because Aspen didn't make weight she should have made weight she had to make weight but she didn't so she's not a professional fighter she's unprofessional in my opinion and that's not how you want to carry yourself when you're fighting in the biggest promotion on the planet in the UFC it's not good it's really bad I don't like it I don't think Dana White likes it nobody likes it she's damaging herself by not making weight and that's a problem it's a big problem what else do we have to touch on it's pretty much it you know oh does the winner of this fight get a title shot what do you guys think you guys think the winner of this fight gets a title shot I don't know. I mean, 145 definitely doesn't have a lot of female fighters there. So that's something to consider. You know, 135 doesn't have a lot of different opponents there. There's not a lot of contenders. There's only like, I mean, you can count on your fingers the number of fighters there are at 145. It's a dead division. I mean, I can I can literally list you all the names right now: Felicia Spencer, Amanda Nunes, Aspen Ladd now, Norma Dumont. Who else? Megan Anderson's gone. She's not fighting anymore in the UFC. She quit. She got finished and submitted by Felicia Spencer, and then she got destroyed by Amanda Nunes. She didn't even. She didn't even deserve the title shot. Hold up, is someone knocking on my door? Again? It's not my door, it's someone else's. But I wanna go check. I'll be back, guys. It's pretty strange. No one was there. Weird. They ran off like a fucking little child. Um, probably another door. But uh, yeah, I think my official prediction for this fight is Aspen's definitely gonna beat her ass, man. She's gonna finish her. Whatever. 